Hey neighbor, come on and sit with us a spell because it's Christmas time and we're talking about Christmas gifts. Well folks, we're giving a little bit of break on the uh, gardening thing and we're going to talk about garden related gifts. How about that? Garden related gifts for this year because Everybody has trouble figuring out what you're going to get somebody. And heaven knows, people that work outside are some of the hardest ones to buy for. You know what I mean? Mm hmm Yep. We can be tough because we uh, we don't sit around a lot. We want to move. We like to be outside. And we like what we like, and it's hard to buy for them. But we got some ideas today. Hopefully, we can share with you. You can buy from that hard-to-find or hard-to-buy-for person in your life. And at the end of the show, we've got a bonus. Got a little bit of a bonus. I got a special knife and a special flashlight that I'm going to show everybody that make good gifts. How about that? Imagine that. Imagine that. All right, so you picked out a few and I picked out a few. So you want to go first, my horse? No, go ahead. All right. First one I got here is these clippers. These clippers right here are nice because... Everybody needs a pair of clippers, and these are lightweight, strong, forged aluminum, and they're made overseas in uh, Switzerland. I do believe the guy over there makes them for us. They're quality. Let's see right here. They are high quality. We had another kind for a few years that was made in Italy. Then we switched over to these right here because they was a little less... Uh, they was the other ones would rust a little bit. They were great clippers, but they would rust a little bit. These right here won't rust right here, although you do need to keep them wiped down right there. And I was able to get these nice sheaths here. Now the thing about the sheaths is these sheaths are made in the USA. Weaver Leather Company up in Ohio makes these sheaths for us. Of course, it's leather. You need to try to treat it. I treat mine with uh, some linseed oil and some some leather oil. Try to get it softened up a little bit. Makes a great combo right there. High quality, good clippers there, and then your sheath. Mm -hmm. That's what, wow. all that together is less than 100 bucks, I all think, right. for sure. They're great for trimming your flowers, deadheading your flowers, or trimming your fruit trees, cutting back your uh, dead plants, pretty much anything. Well, you're going to have to be trimming your muscadine vines before long. They're perfect for that. Mm -hmm. Bypass pruners are what they are. Mm -hmm. All right. I have here on the desk our seed collections and let me go through we have the pollinator series collection the cool season garden collection the heirloom garden collection Let's see. the fresh salad collection and the herb garden collection. Now all these right here, there's five of them, are $19.99. And they come full. All of them have different packs of seed, but there's at least, what, five yeah. in them? Um, for the, oops, for the gardener that you don't know what to get, any of these is a perfect gift or stocking stuffer. And you get a little added bonus. You get a little tin I mean, there that great, all come in. Great tin. Now, let me talk about these others. Okay. So we also have the um, Cog Hill Sunflower Collection. You want to talk about this one? Yeah, so that's actually some that Jason over at Cog Hill, him and Mary Carr, his daughter, picked out this collection right here. And because uh, they love growing flowers, of course, we all love us too. But they have sunflowers and... Um, is it all sunflowers in there? It's all sunflowers in there. It's mm -hmm. all sunflowers that Jason and Mary Carl picked out right there. So it's curated by them right there. It's called, we call it the Cog Hill Sunflower Collection. And if you if you don't know who Cog Hill is, follow them on YouTube. They are a farm family over in the great state of Alabama. And um, we love working with them. And that was a collection that they pulled out there and uh, make a great gift. All right, and this collection is $29.99, but it includes three of the Pro Cut, which is the more expensive sunflowers. Yeah, they're pollenless and plus they're single stem. So those are the really good ones for cut flowers. And then we have the herb collections. 
So this was uh, help curated by Tracy with Just Dig It Farms. And we have a premium and a deluxe. Now the premium is $64.99. But now these also come with the garden steaks. So you have the labels and the steaks. And then it also comes with a little booklet that tells you all about each one. So it's got your row spacing and everything you need to know about it. It's also got, what do you call these? QR codes. QR code that will take you right to our website. So I'm gonna go over the deluxe, okay? Here's the deluxe, I'll go over what I was in it. Holy basil, a boom peppermint, a boom. Lemon drop toothache plant. We had a great time growing that one this year. Purple coneflower. Calendium. Did I say that right? Calendula. Calendula. Lemon balm. That was turned upside down. Broadleaf sage. And of course, roselle hibiscus. And chamomile. Chamomile. So you get all those. How many is that? I didn't count them. That's a pretty good little deal right and there. That's creamy. Let's see how many is in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's the deluxe. So the deluxe is $49.99. So you get how many? I believe it was nine in there. Nine plus the booklet and all the steaks. Yep, good uh, garden markers right there. So. My turn again? Your turn. All right, we got the, now this right here is our newest hat. We're gonna be putting some more hats on this year. It's our newest Get Dirty hat right there. We love this brown color. I, I helped pick out this brown color. I don't always get to help pick out the colors, but I did this time right here. So this is our newest Hoss Get Dirty hat right here. If you could, could you get that in a stocking? Maybe not. Maybe that'd be an added bonus to a nice present. Next, I have garden markers. Now, that would be a good stocking surfer. This would be a good stocking surfer. It comes with 12 markers. You can label what you're planting and the garden marker. And this is $5.99. Mm -hmm. Great stocking stuff. Heck yeah. And here we have the Hodag Toolkit right here. Now, all this right here, folks, is made in the great state of the USA. Colvin Metalworks out of Idaho makes these for us. And this is high carbon steel. And what's unique about this right here is they don't use the traditional ferrule right there. So this thing's got the full part of the wood going into right there. And this is heavy duty stuff right here. Handmade up in Idaho here. And here's the hand trial. That's a pretty good size there. You can buy each one of these separately, or you can buy them as a tool kit together. Here is the rake. Yikes. Make a good back scratcher, wouldn't it? It would. Yeah. So here's your rake. You can work. These are ideal for raised beds, or even if you're working into the ground containers. And here's the hoodag. Let me get this over here. Now, this is the one we sell the most of, folks. This is the original hoodag right here. You can buy this separately, or there again, buy this kit sharp on the edges right there on both sides so you can dig you can get in there and weed with it right there look at that ain't that pretty and what i like about it is patina on all the metal right there the way they do that hodag made in the usa patina what's that patina that's so what that color kind of does right there it's the natural color of the metal that comes out these things are sprayed with a sil uh, not a silicone, a slack or something other, like a clear sealant, but you get to see the model in there on the middle. Mm, on all of them. Yep. Interesting. All right, next I have, oh, I forgot my brushes. Um, these are the lids. I don't want to open them up. They come in a wide mouth and a regular mouth. They're mason tops, multi-top lids. They will fit a wide mouth jar. Any yeah. wide mouth jar. I use these for everything. Um, it's got a little pour spout on it, which is great. Good uh, seal in there. Um, and 
those are great for anything. And we've got the coveted uh, over the shoulder harvesting bucket. You'll see these, we see these, we was watching TikTok the other night and there was a guy that sells snacks uh, on TikTok. And he was pulling his snacks with a hoss over the shoulder oh, garden bucket. So I see these as I'm scrolling through YouTube or the internet, I see these all the time pop up out there. Here's the packer here. This is a shoulder harness that goes over your shoulder right there. This baby sits right down here and you can adjust it. I got a little hot over there, but you can adjust it where you want it. And you can pick all your fruits and vegetables, apples, oranges, tomatoes. We use it for a lot of different mm -hmm. things. Over the shoulder harvesting bucket. See, I've got a picture right there. We've got this I've seen babies put in there. Yeah. See there? That's the way you do it right there. Everybody loves the over the shoulder harvesting bucket. Okay. And speaking of harvesting utensils, this is one that, and we have a bunch of tub trucks. This is actually a colander. And I use this one all the time. Mm, that's my most popular one. Um, it's just the perfect size and it's got the holes in it so you can actually let the dirt fall through and wash your vegetables in here. Want to talk about those? Yeah, so these right here is a product we put on a couple of years ago. And these little tubes in here is little fertilizer tablets just like alka -Seltzers. And uh, what you do is you take those out and you mix it to a gallon of water or actually you can actually put it to a half gallon of water if you want to mix it a little strong, it won't burn. But you mix it for your watering can, for your house plants, or your plant, container plants, or you, maybe some raised beds. It's perfect for that. Mm -hmm. You will need to give something just a little shot there. You take that little tablet, you stick in there, and it fizzes and dissolves, and you simply just fertilize your plants here. And we've got four different ones. This right here is your growing bubble right here, which is your standard one. This is a 10-5-10 plant food. We have the tomato vegetable bubble, which is a 14, 14, 17, right there. These things dissolve in water real quick. Oh, and this is the blooming flower bubble right here. Good stocking stuffers. Now this one right here is one you would add to those three right there. That's sort of like our micro boost there. It's called the Nutri bubble. This right here has all your minor and your, uh, your other nutrients in there, such as copper, boron, zinc, magnesium, and all those kind of things. It's not an actual fertilizer, but it has all those minor elements in it. So these are $5.99 and you get 14 tablets. So you can fertilize 14. Theoretically, you can make weeks. 14 gallons of water out of that right there. A fertilizer water out of that. Each one. Yes, it's real handy to keep, uh, keep in the greenhouse. Okay, root pouches. We love our root pouches, and I got rock growing. I got celery growing in. I got yeah, carrots growing. I got carrots growing in my root pouch. So they come in different sizes. This right here is the three gallon. This is perfect for one plant, maybe two plants. Um, what's really great about them is you can sit them outside, and if you was to have a cold snap just bring it inside or under the garage. They're very easy to transport. Most of them have the handles on them. I thought they may be the one, the smaller the, one does not, but the rest no, of them, the, the biggest one. 100 gallon. Oh, uh, the biggest one does, So That's they right. come in one gallon, three gallon, five gallon, 15. 45. 45 and 100. And they breathe. That's the good thing about them is they breathe. The plants seem to grow up really well in them. And this one here, I'll show you the difference in size, is a five gallon. Is this what you put age your celery in? I think it is. That's yeah. the size I use right there. So they're just, they're we made out of... Seven, did you say seven gallon? We also have seven gallon. Oh, really? Yep, we have seven gallon. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> um... I forget what I was going to say. Look on our website and you can figure out what size But you can we buy got. them individually or in packets of five. And they are cheaper when you buy them in the bundle. Yep. But this would make a great stocking stuffer. Made out of recycled water bottles. And they breathe and they're easy to wash up. At the end of the growing season, you can empty them out, wash them up, fold them up. They store real well. Excellent. Is that the end of yours? Mm-hmm. All right. Here's the bonus, folks. <sighs> we don't sell these two products here, 
But these are two of my favorite products that I think anybody, any any man would love, and, and possibly women too, but uh, for a gift. This right here is called the Kershaw. Kershaw Knives is a good brand. It's probably not my favorite brand, but this particular knife here is one of my favorites. I've been toting this one for a while. This is called the Federalist. Kershaw Federalist. You can buy this on Amazon, or you can buy it from a website. I've purchased some knives, some called knives shipped free out of Chattanooga, Tennessee. It's USA made Kershaw. Not all your Kershaws are USA made. This one is here. This has got the Macarta handles on it. Feel that handle right there. So it's not real yeah. slick. <laughs> I get all giddy about knives and she just don't get it. See the see-through there? How you can keep it clean? Cleans real easy here. It's got good movement on it, so it snaps in right there. Great size knife there for like 79 bucks. USA knife. Okay. Okay. I think this is a great knife for you. All right. Now you want to find this interesting right here. Now we talked about flashlights a little bit last week. This is a new one right here. This is an Olight. Can you say that word right there? Arcfield. So you've got another flashlight? I've got another flashlight. Arcfield. This one eight. out here is- Is it Arc or Eight? Arcfield. Arcfield. You can get either one of these off of uh, the knife or the flashlight off Amazon. Both of these are less than a hundred bucks. This one is slim right here. It has a pocket clip on. This is specifically to tote in your pocket as a everyday carry. Hmm. I'm fixing to show you something that you didn't have a clue about, about this okay. flashlight right here. All right, you can use it as a regular flashlight. It has three different modes right there. It goes from real bright to real dim. But here is the cool thing. See this switch right here, this dial? Mm -hmm. You flip it over, and now you've got a black light. Oh. Do you know what a black light you is? You can find the worms. You can find tomatoes. the worms in your you garden. Didn't think I knew that, did you? I didn't. So now you see there, it's got this oh. extra, it's got an extra uh, light in there. You can go out at night and find those worms in your garden and pick them off. Get a black light. Shine cool. it down there and those worms will glow and you can pick it off. What else you use the black light for? Some people like if they go into a hotel room or things like that, they check it in and see how clean it is with the black light. Mm. I've not really used it a whole lot, but I'm, and I want to go out there. I, this spring I'm going to go out and hunt worms. Hunt worms. Yeah. I thought that was so neat. A great gardener flashlight because we need a flashlight in the pocket, especially with these nights getting dark. You blinded around. me. Oh, is it still on? Oh, excuse me, let me turn it off. There we go. So what have you got going on in the garden? What have I got going on? I got the prettiest kale, and I got a, a new variety I'm growing out called blackjack kale. I got the prettiest kale, I got the prettiest collards, the prettiest carrots, the prettiest beets, and the prettiest onions I've had in a long time. What do you attribute that to? Uh, my garden in the middle? I don't know. <laughs> the cooler weather? The, the cooler rain. weather has been good, but yeah, I keep We it, got a good rain, finally. I did. I've been keeping it watered, but uh, mm. it's just been a, it's been a pretty decent, and then we had a lot of white fly problems early on, but the last month or so has been pretty good gardening weather if you if you have to keep things watered. What about our new additions? You want to tell people about our new additions? Go ahead. So, Saturday, we took a little trip to... Where was it at? Dothan, Alabama. Around Dothan, Alabama. <laughs> um, she slept part of the way. She didn't have a clue where she was at. Why not sleep? <laughs> when somebody gets you up at 5 o'clock in the morning and it's raining and he drives horrible, so it's good sleeping winter. Um, anyway, went to see Perial Farms and picked up two more pigs. We got one last year and what? Tell us, can you say? So they're they're a particular breed that we're real fond of that they have they use over there and it's half Berkshire and half manganese. So it has the perfect amount of fat versus or lard, lard hog. Now before you go all crazy, I didn't say manganese correct. That is not the correct name, but that's close of the type breed it is. And you'll have to go uh, do your own research on it because I call it manganese, but it's not. It's manganese. Manganese is it? I can't say you it. You butchered it. I'm anyway, try. The, the manganese is a lard type hog. The Berkshire is a meat type hog. So you put them together and it's perfect. perfect. We had some of the best pork off that last hog we've ever had it, mm -hmm. period. It was just wonderful. So we want to get some more and we got two this time. And um, It was a nice trip. They fed us this awesome breakfast. Yep. Good visit with them. 
Uh, first time we've been to their place. Mm -hmm. So check out Perry Hill Farms on YouTube. They got a YouTube channel there. Great bunch of folks here. They just hilarious. Uh, uh, just wonderful to hang out with. Got to see their rabbits. Yep. Yep. And the goats. Milk cow. Milk, milk goats. cow. It was just a fun little trip. Yep. Um, in my garden. My, I don't think my English peas are going to make it. I think they have bit the dust. What do you think the problem there is? I don't know. My other ones, have I have not watered them since you fussed at me. You watered them You ever watered them. Yep. They won't recover. I don't think so. At this point, it's going to be hard to. Yep. Radishes the, are still kicking. Radishes are doing good. We have enjoyed the most radish roots this time. We've been cooking them in the oven. Man, they've been good. I think I'm going to uh, freeze dry some and see how they do freeze dry. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so how about the Grinch? Is he still in the house? Oh, we got one more thing. Christmas oh. gifts. Talk about your gift cards. Oh, gift cards. We got gift cards on the website there. If you just don't know what to buy somebody, you can get them a gift. Or last minute, day yeah. before gift Christmas. Gift certificate. You're running out of time. Yep. Always do that gift certificate. So the old goat's on vacation. Is he on still on vacation? Yes, he's gone to the first the of the Grinch year. is filling in. So we're doing the Grinch drawing. And uh, if you find the Grinch on the set here somewhere, put it in the comments below and next week we'll do a drawing. But this week's winner, this week's drawing from last week's winner is Cynthia Murrah. Murrah? Murrah. Am I saying that right? Cynthia, I hope I didn't butcher your name up there. But send us your shipping, inf shipping information to cussservehostools.com. And we'll get you a coveted pair of the Get Dirty Socks. How about that? Yeah. And the Garden Spotlight. We haven't had the Garden Spotlight in a couple weeks because nobody has sent us pictures. We need garden pictures. We need pictures. Garden Spotlight pictures. Yeah, yeah of your winter garden, fall garden. Yep. Send them in to cussserve at hostools.com. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for joining us. Hope your garden's doing well, even in the midst of this cold, cool weather. We're still growing a lot of our own food. We eat out of the garden, what, two or three times this last week. So, uh, still time to garden. But you know what? We're getting those garden catalogs in, and we're, we're, we're lusting about springtime gardening. Mm -hmm. That's what we're going to talk about next we're week. Gonna talk, we're going to talk. We get a lot of our competitors' garden catalogs in, and I, I enjoy looking at them. And see where we at on the new products. Sometimes we're ahead of the curve on new products, and sometimes we're a little bit behind there. But some of them, I, I like to try before we put them in. So mm -hmm. it's always interesting to look at what everybody else is doing. Speaking of new things, we got some uh, new peppers. We got some new peppers. We got we got a lot of new things we're going to be adding for 2024. And just as soon as December's over with. We're going to get into that. We're going to do a show on all of our new things. We probably won't be able to cover everything in one show. Really? We got some hard goods and we got some new seeds coming in for 2024. Uh, yep. Seed potatoes. Seed potatoes. We're going to have those pre selling within the next week. I know it's a little early, but folks, it's going to be January, or February Gosh. before you know it. And you people down in zone 10. On down in there, it's going to need to plant yours in January. January. So we got seed potatoes coming in. Ours is going to be in in January. We can ship them to you early enough. We always have trouble every year, but we're going to give them a little bit earlier this year, I hope. So we're going to have seed potatoes pre-sale within the next week. So be on the lookout for that. Thank you all for joining us. It's been, a, it's been great hanging out with you. All those gifts. Surely you can find somebody out there for the one in your family that loves to get outside and garden. Thank you for joining us. Now get outside and get dirty.